Hey everyone, my name is Sergey, and today I'm talking about my Gluey game. And honestly, I'm pretty excited I'm invited to speak about this game, because back in 2009, Gluey was totally my pet, my hobby project. And uh, it's turned out pretty cool. It's definitely exceeded my expectations, both on monetization ground and on like general uh, satisfaction of this project. Uh, so it's entirely shaped my uh, indie game developer career. Uh, so let me share some of that story with you today. And uh, really, I hope to cover three topics in just 10 minutes now. First one is how I built original Gluey, what I faced during this road. Second story is probably the most intriguing one, is uh, how I was building SQL and did almost everything wrong on that road. And finally, I'm sure you appreciate some of the statistics and figures on that. Okay, so we're all... Uh, before just going into all that, let's just watch the gameplay. Okay, so you've seen that, that's a pretty simple game. Just click the cluster of the colored blobs, cluster will go away. If you manage to click the huge cluster, you will get a huge score. Uh, as we know, uh, inspiration is very, very important for us. Uh, and I took my inspiration from the old demos. You know, if you are old enough like I am, uh, you probably remember those great demo programs from the demo scene of 90s on Amiga or PC, which uh, made our VGA cards like uh, burn in steam. And what I noticed is that people can watch those moving patterns, those uh, smoke effects, fire effects, water effects, like forever. And my thought was, uh, can I make a game just out of pure effect, like physics effect? You just interact with that and watch what happens. So I spent just a couple of weekends and create this uh, comprehensive uh, tutorials on, how do I say it, prototypes. Uh, I just looked at how they worked, and uh, surprisingly it was pretty fun to play already in this shape. I showed it to some of the people at FGL, FGL Adam, and they all said it's a pretty cool game, it uh, definitely has a potential. So really, that was the first game for which I went ahead and ordered some uh, professional art. And now that's the biggest piece of advice I can give in all my presentation. If you have a pet project, and it's not necessarily an indie game, uh, you really should treat it as any other expensive hobby that you may have. Because uh, if you just like, okay, I want to do it on my own, I am reluctant to invest real money into that kind of attitude, it's not really helpful. You should really go ahead and uh, spend some money on that. It will be much more rewarding and will have much more potential in the wild. Um, all in all, it went pretty cool. In just six to eight weeks, I completed that, and it was totally part-time. And uh, definitely the auction results on FGL exceeded my expectations from this little hobby project. Uh, so now if I look back and uh, try to see how it all happens and uh, why it, uh, what went wrong here, I would say the biggest part that I did right uh, is uh, uh, I was able to capture really solid behavior of the moving blocks. Unfortunately, in just 10 minutes, I can't go into the technical details. Feel free to approach me after the presentation to discuss. Uh, but in case you want to do a game about blobs, let me stress three things which are really important to make the physics right here. So first thing is uh, uh, if you look at the drops of water, it's important to know that what holds them together is the surface tension. If the blob of water touch like some sharp object, like the edge of the play field, which is sharp, uh, the blob will really burst. So in order to look realistic, the blobs might, 
uh, somehow detach a little bit from the edge. They should repulse from each. And also they should repulse from each other. Like uh, yellow blobs and uh, red blobs, they must not touch each other. Uh, second important thing is that when drops slide, you see they leave this kind of little trail behind. Unless it is there, uh, the animation doesn't look as smooth. And finally, uh, you see there is this light effect, so blobs really should have a clear boundary, because otherwise they look like uh, smoke or something. They are not look like a, uh, solid blobs. Once this is done right, and there are various techniques to do that, uh, the blob physics will look convincible. One very stupid thing I have to confess went wrong. Uh, so I watched all those uh, great puzzle games and all those fancy effects when you uh, click the uh, big blob. And I had, okay, you need to have a big success message. But reality is, this game has a strong action component. You have to click sometimes those blobs really, really quickly. And you see this big score message that just blocks the screen and player cannot play this. So that was like the number one complaint everywhere on the forums. And finally, Gluey is a catchy name. But you know, I looked at and I've heard lots of talks uh, on this uh, uh, conference. And what happens is sometimes you cannot spell the game name properly. You cannot understand it over the phone. You cannot understand the name due to the developer's accent. Uh, so I really, really recommend to pick the names which are easy to pronounce. No one, for example, make a mistake understanding Angry Birds or something like that. OK, but all in all, it went cool. So I decided time to make a sequel and uh, be really serious about it. So let's have a look on the sequel. Okay, that's it. Uh, as you've seen, much larger game. Uh, it's uh, generally attracted much more attention. It's even won the Women's Choice Award on the Flash Gun. Uh, so let me focus today only on the things that went really wrong with this game. And the first one is extremely counterintuitive uh, main gameplay mode. I'm not sure if you got it too totally out of the video, but what happens here, you click the cluster of the blobs, this cluster disappears, and then immediately the pipe releases next cluster. So I thought it's kind of cool to make levels longer, to make the gameplay more strategic. But you know, uh, in other games like that, and in real life, pipes do not like, like, uh, work like that. It is not like you do something and pipe works after that. There is no valve on it or something. So uh, players really struggle to understand that. Some players thought, OK, there are some blobs, uh, more blobs coming and coming and coming. So I have to click as fast as hell. So players start clicking and clicking and clicking. And uh, what happens is that more and more blobs was coming and they lose. So there are lots of lots of complaints like that. Many people simply did not understand the mechanics well. Uh, second biggest mistake was I thought, uh, I don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to clone myself. I want something new and unique. And I made the game so different that players were disappointed. There were lots of comments, where is my Benji music? In the Glue one, lots of players said Benji music does not fit, it's too loud, etc. But fans really liked that. If the fact that I replaced that, they didn't like it much. Uh, players was missing the puzzle experience of the first Glue, so there were many, many comments on that ground. And finally, it was a very huge project. It's definitely exceeded the uh, potential uh, of the Flash game to uh, kind of return those kind of investments. 
Uh, overall, here is some financial stats on what this uh, game series brought me. It's not bad for an indie game, in, uh, for sure. And probably my main recommendation here is I, for example, didn't expect that uh, site locks will sell uh, that well. So do not rule out great opportunities. Uh, be reluctant to sell uh, exclusive licenses. Be reluctant to uh, allow no ads uh, type of deals. Just keep as many roads for yourself as possible because different games are different. And finally, uh, what next? Obviously, Glue is a success for me, so I'm going to build the Glue free. We are struggling with our partners to bring Glue properly to mobile. Uh, it's already in the App Store. We are stri uh, striving to make it work even better there. And uh, if you will look at my other games, upcoming Rolling Ghost games and others, you will see all my games now are about the physics effects, which is fun to play with. So I guess uh, that's worked pretty well for me. If you have any questions on these type of games, just ask and we'll discuss.